If America goes to war with Iran, Donald Trump better listen to this story. This story begins in the desert. Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet peace be upon him, was cut to pieces by the soldiers of Yazid, a cruel tyrant of that time. Hussein became the master of martyrs and for centuries many Muslims in the region have been taught to see the world from the eyes of this battle, the battle of free men against oppression, good versus evil. Hussein witnessed and protested the rights of his people being violated and the values of society being destroyed by a tyrannical and corrupt government. Yazid was the antithesis of everything Hussein stood for and preached, yet he demanded that Hussein pays allegiance to him in order to increase his own credibility. And this is exactly what Donald Trump is doing to every leader on the planet. And it seems he now has his eyes on Iran. If the American regime declares war, the story of Hussein will definitely shape the lives of not just the Middle East, but the entire world. Uh, we have one of the most powerful ships in the world that's loaded up and we don't want to have to do anything. What I'd like to see with Iran, I'd like to see them call me. Their economy is a mess ever since I took away the Iran deal. They have inflation that's the highest number I've ever heard. They're having riots every weekend and during the week even. And what they should be doing is calling me up, sitting down, we can make a deal, a fair deal. We just don't want them to have nuclear weapons. It's nothing but yours. And we would help put them back into great shape. Guatemala. And we would help put them back into great shape. Iraq. And we would help put them back into great shape. Libya. And we would help put them back into great shape. Syria. And we would help put them back into great shape. Venezuela. And we would help put them back into great shape. Tazo Ahmadiyya az inja ra تشکر ما به خاطر این است که زحمت ما رو کم کرد چهره واقعی آمریکا رو نشون داد کاری که ما در طول سی و چند سال هی میگفتیم فساد سیاسی فساد اقتصادی فساد اخلاقی فساد اجتماعی دستگاه حاکمه آمریکا رو ما میگفتیم این آقا آمد در دوره انتخابات و بعد از انتخابات اینو علنی کرد اوریان کرد the United States government has approved the deployment of a Patriot missile defense battery and another warship to the Middle East and tensions between the United States and Iran are rising steadily. The United States says the deployment of military hardware to the region comes in response to apparently heightened Iranian readiness to conduct offensive operations. However, I think it's all Ziopig propaganda. It's plausible that the United States will do something or some sort of false flag to justify their evil. But I hope things won't escalate any further. The United States has attacked Iran before, Operation Eagle Claw at Tabas Desert back in the 1980s. However, the United States was trapped into failure and had to fly back home. There are many things the United States doesn't understand, but I don't think they're that silly not to understand that Iran is no Libya, neither Syria or Iraq. The game is quite different. Hopefully, there won't be a war. Iranians are pretty clued up people. They make their own weapons and by far are intellectually superior to the Bedouins in Najd, Saudi Arabia. The Iranian politicians, diplomats, young people, students in political sciences, as well as Iranian political activists know that negotiating with a bullying regime like the United States is not a means to eliminate hostility. America is losing its grip as a world power and there's nothing they can do about it, apart from deploying weapons and parading them in the Middle East for the Saudi clown prince bin Salman to buy. The triumph of Hussein against Yazid lies in the fact that his inspiration has moved men to grieve for him throughout the centuries and speak truth in the face of oppressive rulers by being brave and standing up for justice. If the United States meddles in Iran, it will certainly ignite fire and it will certainly ignite love for Hussein and fire against Trump. 
as the modern-day Yazid. In the real sense of cosmic history, the martyrdom of Hussein is a mighty triumph, a wondrous victory, one which strengthens people in the region, whether it's in al Asa, Saudi Arabia, or Tehran in Iran. The United States is not that stupid to put its pet slaves in danger in the region. America Samihat Israel Wadahimat Israel America Wahiat Al Ahab Wal Ahtilal Wat Tahweed Wat Tahjeer Wal Ahlaq Wat Tadbir Wal Fatan 